today we're going to be looking at a pump jack. This is this device right here. And this is a historical pump jack here on the grounds at the Oil Museum of Canada. This is a demonstration pump jack. It is currently not pumping oil, but we're going to look at the different parts of this pump jack and label it so that we understand. The first thing that we're going to look at is the Samson post. This is the main support structure for this pump jack. And that is the term we use for the device that pumps the oil out of the ground. So we have a Samson post. It sits on top of a sill platform. This right here is the walking beam. To attach the walking beam, we do have a pivot point. It is often referred to in the oil field as a saddle. And since we are using horse terminology, that goes along with some of the other different parts of it. We have a Samson post, a walking beam, a saddle, and then over here at the front, this is commonly referred to as the stirrup, which attaches the chains to the polish rod and to the stuffing box. On the back end of the pump jack, we have once again, the bridle. This can be used interchangeably at the front or the back of the pump jack for this piece that attaches to the walking beam. So we have the bridle attached to the chain, attached to a pulley, which connects to our jerker lines that move throughout the oil field and transfer the mechanical power from our powerhouse to the pump jack. All of these different things would have been made in-house by the oil drillers. They often would have used just a, a tree log as the walking beam itself. Inside would have been the sucker rods inside the stuffing box, which would have used a simple mechanism using a ball suction and a plunger, and it would have pulled the oil up step by step with every lift and rock of this pump jack as it moved back and forth. This simple technology is no different than the technology that you would find in water pumps throughout homesteads in southwestern Ontario throughout the 18 and early 1900s. This technology has been in use for many, many years. The innovation of this technology was to combine a simple pump jack to our jerker line system, thus creating efficiencies in the system to produce more oil. From the stuffing box, you can see there's a secondary pipe that would take the oil as it came up out of the ground to a separate holding and separating tank where the oil drillers and producers would then take that oil to refineries. These are the different labels that we have for these pump jacks. And over top of any pump jack you would have found in the 1800s would have been the traditional three pole derricks that you see above me. For any more information about pump jacks and pumping oil within the 1800s, contact us here at the Oil Museum of Canada. And don't forget to follow and like this video across all our social media channels.